Hello. I just like to go on record to note that I don't condone drug use anyway. I, I say this because of my adventures with PCP. Obviously, if you look up the history of PCP and the side effects and things that have happened because of usage of it, obviously, uh, who would condone that? Um, I really haven't tried any uh, illegal drugs. Uh, I know you're saying I have no life. I've been around it a lot, so I have a lot of experience with it, even though I don't have any experience trying it. Um, some of my friends when I was younger used to think that I was high all the time, even though they were the ones always doing stuff. And I always figured that I'm losing brain cells anyway because of my own uh, body chemistry. Why uh, intensify it? Uh, I say that, but I still drink alcohol. So, And personally, I think uh, some of the drugs, uh, like marijuana, well, actually, just marijuana, uh, is kind of on the same level as alcohol, and probably better in a way. If marijuana is not legal, then alcohol probably shouldn't be. However, they've tried that before, and we can see how what happened with that. I don't condone either, either of it. Um, maybe I should have tried some when I was younger. I don't know. Uh, I didn't really even start smoking until I was 21, and I didn't really have a sexual life until after that. So you can imagine what kind of boring life I had when I was growing up, even though I moved quite a bit, um, and I, was ex I experienced a lot of different things, I really didn't have first-hand experience with a lot of things. Uh, mostly, I moved around and still lived in my little bubble, and I still do. So even though I'm surrounded by tons of people all the time, and I move around quite a bit, I maintain this little bubble that, that, that I don't really get outside of, and maybe I'm less for it, maybe I'm not. When I was younger, uh, when I would go to a group that would be smoking pot or something, uh, I used to just say, no, no, I don't smoke, and they'd ask me all kinds of questions. Oh, you don't smoke, da 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 and I'd have to say it every, every time they pass it around, because then they'd keep trying to hand it to me. Now I've gotten to the point where... I don't even say anything. I just take it and pass it to the next person. And I, I don't know how they are. The cops are here. If if you have THC on your hands, they're going to bust you or some shit. From what I could tell, the cops are kind of like shoot first, ask questions later. But uh, the society here is kind of different also. My wife, who's religious, she's kind of Christian, Umbanda, spiritist type religion. She believes in reincarnation and everything, which is really weird. Uh, one of her maestris or whatever died. Uh, him and his son got shot. Uh, another friend of ours, he got kidnapped and his money taken from him. Luckily, he didn't get shot. His wife had her daughter and her son both shot and killed because of uh, drugs. The daughter got shot because she dated somebody that was a drug lord or something. And when somebody else took over, they wanted to close off everything and someone knocked on the door and just shot her in the face and killed her. So yeah, you probably don't want to be dating any drug lords in Brazil anytime soon. So the weird part is, is my wife believes in reincarnation and afterlife and spiritist, uh, the spiritist stuff, but yet she's scared to death of death. She's scared to death of death. It's just really weird how, how, Religious people are scared of death sometimes, and I don't understand that. You know, if you believe in afterlife so strongly, then and and our reincarnation so strongly, uh, why would you be scared of death? Or is it because you're scared of death that you believe in the afterlife so strongly? I, I've always wondered that. Either way, ciao.